good morning students and uh, today i will teach uh, circle to uh, sums okay and previous class i have already discussed equation of a circle general equation of a circle okay and suppose one equation is given uh, then uh, how to find the center radius etc okay and the length of the intercept that is a circle um suppose intercept x axis okay then the x intercept will be uh, two root g square minus c and uh, y intercept will be two root f square minus c okay and the end point of the diameter is given then how to find the equation of circle suppose x1 y1 x2 y2 is given then we can say that the equation of circle is uh, x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 equal to 0 okay everybody i have discussed now today i will discuss now if two circle touches each other either externally or internally so what is the in which condition they will touch see look at here suppose i am writing here in, uh, one circle is there and another circle should touch each other externally ok what is the condition so look at here this is the uh, tangent common tangent is there when they touch each other ok touch each other then this suppose the radius r1 this is r2 and this is center c1 ok now this the uh, two circle touch externally if if distance between their center distance between their center is always equal to sum of their radius that is c1 c2 keep in mind c1 c2 equal to c1 c2 equal to we can write r1 plus r okay similar way a distance between two points two center is given all of you know uh, what is the distance between them x and uh, root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y whole square equal to uh, yes this is the distance with the center root under x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y whole square okay now c1 c2 equal to R1 plus R2. If they externally touch, suppose one circle is there, another is there like this. Its radius also suppose here, its given radius is there. Uh, suppose this is R2. Okay. So this is center C2. So C1 C2 equal to uh, R1 minus R2. Okay. If two circles touches each other internally, okay internally touch each other then you can say distance between their center c1 c2 equal to r1 minus okay and if two circles intersect each other then what is the equation of the form let's say i am showing here look at here two circles intersect each other then what is the equation of the common form ok suppose I am doing look at here they are one circle is there and another circle is there circle is there so this is center C1 and this is center C1 Okay. So common for look at here. The two points are there here, they intersect. No? Suppose this is P, this is Q. Okay. How to find the equation of the common core? Equation of the common core. Suppose C1 center, right? This is which are C1 center, the equation will be x square plus y square plus 2 C1 x. 2 f1 y plus c1 equal to 0 
okay and c2 center so which is center c2 you can write x square plus y square plus 2 c2x 2a2y plus c2 equal to c okay see x square y square the terms same but the points will be here center the points okay and constant term okay now subtract this previous so this is cancel now to be subtract so 2 g1 minus g2 of x plus 2 f1 minus f2 of y plus c1 minus c2 equal to c. This is the equation, general equation of a common form. See, the general equation state line all we know x plus y plus c equal to zero. This is the form we get. Two g1 minus g2 x plus two f1 f2 y plus c1 c2 equal to zero. Now students keep in mind the coefficient of x square and y square both are same. Suppose here three x square two y square is there. That time don't subtract. First the general form you take. Okay, I am giving suppose equation is there. This equation suppose one equation is there. Huh? Suppose two x square plus two y square uh, plus suppose g two x plus f two y uh, plus c two equal to zero is given. Then divide it by both sides by here two because keep in mind. Always coefficient of x square and the coefficient of y square will be always one. Same, always one. Keep in mind. Okay, same. So right, uh, division both sides by two. The x square plus y square plus z two by two x plus f two by y. Uh, sorry, two y plus c two by two equal to zero. Then you can subtract. Look at here. Yeah, x square y square c. Yeah, also x square y square c. So keep in mind. I'm showing the sums, okay? And length and the uh, the line segment joining between the center and the common chord is always perpendicular to each other. Keep in mind. The distance between the center and the common chord, okay? Each always perpendicular to the line segment between the center. Understood? So all of you know this is perpendicular by media. Uh, find out gradient. Here also find out gradient. Then that is m1 into m2 minus one. All of you know. Okay? Just note it down. Now I am showing the sums. Suppose I am showing you the idea. Um, X square. Y square plus 2x minus 4y minus c is equal to zero. One equation. And another equation, x square plus y square minus 4x 6y minus 6y uh, uh, plus Given. Find, find the equation of the common chord. Common chord. See, here x square coefficient one here also same. It is just same. Okay. So you subtract this equation. If you subtract, so two x here minus is six x. Here plus two. This plus six y. That is plus two y. Here. See, okay, uh, plus that is minus four equal to zero. That is three x plus y minus two equal to zero. This is the equation of the common chord. As center is find out here center 
first equation center c1 we know this is minus 1 and 2 and center c2 so it will be 2 and 3 ok find its gradient so gradient equal to m1 suppose so 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 by 2 plus 1 that is 1 by 3 1 by 3 ok now here find out center that is y equal to minus 3 x plus 2 so m3 equal to minus 3 understood see then m1 m2 find out so m1 m2 here m1 m2 equal to 1 third into minus 3 that is minus 2 so just I am uh, saying uh, just now the distance between their center that is uh, the line segment joining between the center the line segment joining between the center is always perpendicular to the point. this is the proof ok suppose here is given 2x square 2y square that is divided by 2 both sides suppose I am showing look at here this type of sum again suppose This equals in that 2x square, 2y square equals. Coefficient both same. Don't suffer 2x square, 3y square. It is not wrong. Okay. Only it's coefficient of x square and the coefficient of y square is always same. Now, you cannot subtract it. Because here the, here the power is 1, here is 1, but here is 2 equal. So, dividing both sides by 2. So, x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3 minus 1 equal to then subtract so this and this cancel now here minus this is 4x minus minus uh, here minus y ok plus the minus 5 equal to this is the common form understood this is the equation of the common form similar way find out ok now I am showing if suppose two uh, equation of circle is given hmm. see uh -huh. x square plus y square plus twice ax plus c square equal to zero is given and x square plus y square plus 2dy plus 6 square equal to 0 is given. If two circles touch each other, either externally or internally, nothing is given. Only is given uh, two equation, uh, two circles touch each other. Okay, then prove that very important sum 1 by x square, 1 by x square equal to 0. 1 by 6 square. How to prove? First point center. See, C1 center will be here minus A 0 and C2 center find out 0 minus B. And first one radius find out R1 D square that is A square minus C square and R2 is here D square minus Understood? Center first one, center second. Uh, radius first one, radius second. Now look at here. Here nothing is given. Either um, here either internally or externally. Nothing is given. Then how to do? Then you have to here distance between the center. You have to write r1 plus minus r2 why plus minus if externally then plus and if internally then it will be minus here nothing is given then you have to do like that distance between the center c1 c2 will r1 plus minus r2 f2 ok here only given touches each other then maybe externally more ok now distance between the center will be right 
एल होल्ड्स का यूनिट भी रूट आंडर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर ओके आर वन प्लस आर वन इज देयर सो राइट रूट आंडर ए स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस बी स्क्वायर माइनस ओके नाउ स्क्वायरिंग बोथ साइड्स राइट ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू राइट ए स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस टू रूट ए स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर इनटू बी स्क्वायर माइनस सी स्क्वायर बोल बोल करते हैं नाउ दिस बी स्क्वायर दिस बी स्क्वायर कैंसिल ए स्क्वायर कैंसिल सी स्क्वायर टेक दैट साइड सो टू सी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस टू रूट अंडर जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर एंड बोथ आर रूट ओके बोथ आर रूट ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस सी टू दी पावर फोर ओके नाउ टू डू कैंसिल नाउ एगेन स्क्वायरिंग रूट ऑफ देयर द एगेन स्क्वायरिंग बोथ साइड सो राइट सी टू दी पावर फोर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर प्लस सी एगेन सी टू डू कैंसिल देयर साइड ठीक बोथ आर माइनस ओके नाउ लुक एट देयर Very important sum. एक्स यूनिट और एक्स सेंटीमीटर सो एडी इक्वल टू 
different I get root 3 by 2 of x. Okay? Root 3 by 2 x. AD. Now AD is divided by ratio there. OA is 2 different I know. Yeah? This also radius. Okay? This is height. So you can write OA is 2 OD. OA is 2 OD. You can write 2 is to 1. Then write O equal to 2 by 3 of AD. That is 2 by 3. AD is root 3 by 2 of X side. So you can see. So X by root 3. Root 3 X by 3. That is X by root 3. Okay? Now O means radius. So just you can write here. X by root 3. We can write radius. Put under d square plus a square minus c. So x you can write 3 uh, root 3 into this part. The 3 into d square plus a square minus c. X. X means side. X is there. Then area of equilateral triangle all of you know now. Root 3 by 4 into side square. So right. So area. Area of and equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 into side square x square. So right, root 3 by 4 x in addition. So 3 into x square. D square plus x square minus. So 3 root 3 by 4 of d square plus a square minus c. Okay? Keep in mind, area of the equilateral triangle. Okay? Just write. Now I'm showing one sum. Look at here. So with x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equal to 0. This is given. Okay. Find the equal area of the equilateral triangle. First find center. Okay. The so center is C1 sub O center is given. So O right. Center. 2 minus 3. And radius r equal to root under 4 plus 9 minus of minus 2 plus 3. 16 is there, that is 4. Okay? 4. So here, equal times of all sides bx side, all sides bx. Okay? So height ad, we can write root 3 by 2 into side x and a d equal to it can write here o a o a equal to so ratio o a equal to this is a 2 is to 1 that is 2 by 3 of a d so 2 by 3 a d means 3 by 2 of x you can see 
so root 3 by 3 of x so x by root 3 so x by root 3 equal to 4 radius this is radius see this also this also radius ok so we can write here x by root 3 equal to 4 so x equal to 4 root 3 ok x equal to 4 root 3 so area find out area of equivalent triangle triangle of ABC area so root 3 by 4 into side square so x is square right so, root 3 by 4 x is the 4 root 3 whole square right 4 root 3 whole square so here it will be root 3 by 4 into 16 uh, 3 48 48 so that is 12 root 3 unit square ok all can understood Again, okay, next class I also will be in only some hours from if I get time that is a uh, few extra sums also, ok? Shortcut method how to do for entrance exam also. If sums are there, just you see the sums and uh, take out the answer. If shortcut method also there, I will discuss, ok? Ok, no more to the bye.